Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the Serete Challenge. So, to access the challenge, just go to Challenge down on the bottom right corner. Click on Serete Challenge. So, the Serete Challenge is a 48 hour event. Every two days, you get to do this event. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons to keep updated on all the newest content. Now, there are four different types of items here. If you look at this, it looks like a big old hopscotch court. So, you have flags, which are blue flags and purple flags. You've also got the orange flags, or sorry, there are orange flags in the second and third floor. And the flags are where you go and you fight against uh, six enemies. And each one, each time you battle, you'll get the rewards that are listed at the bottom of the screen. So, the second thing is these, the gates, the Senkaimon. So when you click on these, you'll be able to select one of these four characters and they will temporarily join your team for the rest of this, um, uh, the, the challenge. Next up, you've got your hot springs. They recover health for all your players. Oh, and the last one is the shrine so here oh this is the shrine the shrine you can pay to revive a random dead character and then somewhere in here also there will be shops and you can buy items from the shops once you get all the way to the end you'll hit this chest and in this chest you can either buy war souls character shards gifts drawings a bunch of other stuff now when you get to the end which means that you've battled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten stages. You will jump to the second floor. After that, you will go to the third floor. Now, if we look on the bottom right, you'll see four different tabs here. Oh, sorry. We've got the potion of life. Now, if you have the Potion of Life item, you can use it and it revives all your dead characters and heals all your characters. The next one is Treasure. So after you defeat um, one of the sets of enemies that are at a flag, you will be able to gain some special skills. Now, let's have a quick look at these skills. So this one, uh, the orange ones are the epic quality and then you've got rare quality and elite quality and i don't know if there are any lower quality ones but of course orange are the best purple are the medium range and the blue are the lower end so every single one of these gives you different boosts to your characters and these boosts only last for the 48 hours that the Serete challenge is available. Now I'm not going to look at all of them right now or explain them because you'll have a chance to see what the boosts are. What I recommend doing though is if you see a boost, like if you look at mine on the bottom, there's a little circle here that says all. Most of my skills that I chose were skills that affected every single one of the characters in my squad. Now, the next one is characters. Now, if you look here, it says that I have a bunch of characters and a bunch of them are level ones. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, I wouldn't want to go in there and fight with level one characters. But those are actually not my characters. These are characters that you gain from the Senkaimon, the little soul gates. And they are extremely powerful. So if you have a chance to add a few of them to your crew, go ahead and do that. They only last while you are doing the Serete challenge here. And the last tab is the shop tab. When you're finished or at any time, you can open up the Serete challenge shop and you can see on the top right here, 
I've got 4,605 Serate coins, and these are the different things I can buy in the store. All right, the last thing you need to know is at every level, right here, the second to last square will have a chest, which allows you to buy items. You can buy up to 10 of the item. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Have a good one.